Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when I feel like it o'clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom B Pal Picks Edition, which is I bring you picks daily. Da- well, five days a week, sometimes six. Sometimes I bring them to you on Saturday, too. I'm going to give you all because we had all the letters, people sending me letters. Could you just give the picks right away? quickly and then talk about what you did afterwards because sometimes I don't have time to watch the whole video and I don't know why you wouldn't have time you would be making time for that right right it's more important than whatever else you got to do sure is uh but I'm going to do it because I you know I listen to my people um we had we did well last night we did well on the weekend we do well at B Pal Picks and you can go for free right now if you go into the bio. And I guess somebody was trying to get on yesterday and uh, they had a difficulty hitting the link for some reason. I guess the best thing to do is down, is uh, go to uh, your app store and get the uh, Patreon app. And then go search BPAL picks and I'll be right there. It's best to have the app anyways, but I don't know why there are any, some people have issues, some people don't, but I'm gonna put the link in the, uh, not bio, but the description, hit it. I'll give you a $25 month for free. We're hitting NCAA, I just hit tennis. I think I'm on six or seven tennis picks in a row, including a parlay. Uh, and we'll go over our picks for today, what we did today, today being that of the, uh, oh, in the basement of my Seattle apartment. You can see me in my uh, regular apartment in the Seattle apartment on the upstairs. If you watch me from three to five Eastern, I have a show, we do a show. I do a show through Steel Flyers Network. I'm getting, uh, that's my job. And uh, on this channel, 3 to 5 Eastern, we do picks and talk about hockey and every facet of the way you can possibly think about it. There will be frolic. Okay, here's your picks. Here's your picks because I know you're all getting all antsy there. Okay, we got Devils, M.O., over 5.5. Penguins, M.L., over 5.5. Islanders, M.L., under 5.5. Dallas ML under five and a half. Hurricanes in reg over five and a half. And Avalanche PL over five and a half. I'm going to go over those again. Devils ML over five and a half. Penguins ML over five and a half. Islanders ML under five and a half. Dallas ML under five and a half. Hurricanes in reg over five and a half. Avalanche sorry, PL over five and a half. There you go, you got it. Now you're gonna miss out on the frolic and remember that with those picks, tomorrow things can change. I haven't got a lot of goaltender confirmations. Uh, I don't know what the injuries may be. There could be new injuries come up. Everything pops up and it can change things. Uh, there was a few things that happened yesterday and I guess when I do the video, do our picks from yesterday, I'll go through them, but let's go to it, shall we? San Jose just scored. Oh, cool. That's good for me. Uh, let's go to our picks. Okay. Yesterday, today. What is I going to say? The date is the, what is the date today? It's the 15th. So of the 15th and tomorrow's going to be the 16th. So if it's the 16th, it's yesterday for you. First one we have, Golden Knights versus Sharks. I took a flyer on the Sharks PL here at 180, at $1.80, buck 80. I do Canadian odds, I hope that doesn't confuse you. But I, at 180, if it confuses you, you can do a conversion or whatever. I, I don't use you, at, uh, it's called decimals. Uh, they call it American, North American odds or US odds, if you, if you use it that way. But anyways. It was almost double your money to give San Jose a goal. Vegas was uh, first uh, just coming off a long road trip. 
first game back. San Jose has been looking better, especially Dubnik. Dubnik has been looking fantastic. So I didn't think that the Sharks could score enough on Flurry, and they haven't. Flurry's been amazing in this game. Like he's going to get a Vesna this year, probably if he doesn't get injured. But I did think that they could probably keep it very close. And for the juice you're getting on the Golden Knights in regulation, you got more juice for the Sharks PL. So I went for it, and we got it. And I also had the under. Well, we haven't got it. The Golden Knights could still get an empty netter and screw us, but let's hope not. But we got the under as well, so even if we don't get it, it's kind of a wash. This game here, you Lightning, you guys can kiss my, you know, like... You've got to be kidding me right now. Losing 4-1 to one to the freaking Predators. I know you had McElhaney, and that was what I was worried about. But if that's the case, this is over all day, right? One thing I forgot or didn't notice for some reason, this was an afternoon game on a Monday. If I would have known that, I might have thought a little harder on this because afternoon on Mondays, it completely screws up the routine for the players. They're not used to that sort of thing. On the road, the Predators have been playing a lot better every game. They've got nothing to lose. So they're playing like they got nothing to lose. And uh, the Lightning could be overlooking this game because they got Dallas the next game. It's concerning for me that the Lightning does this sort of thing. And they do do it far too often. Anyways, we had large on the over and large on the lightning pl and we got nothing of that not a good start to the day when you lose six units or something like that on your first play but we made it back capitals we had the capitals uh in regulation for large so we're on our way to making it back we also had the over for medium so we're almost back we still got a ways to go because the Capitals in regulation was 167, something like that. So we were just over half our money for three units. If you're, you're, if you're large as three minutes, what are units? We're saying three. So it would have been like, you think I would do the math here. You, you can slowly figure it out. 220, 280, something like that. So not maybe not quite our loss from our first bet. But the and then the medium ones brings it close to even. Here we had uh the over large. So now we're up. We had the over large three units. It was almost double your money. So now we're up for the day. Small on uh one unit on the Rangers ML. The Rangers ML didn't come in. So we're just a bit up. Uh, we had Panthers in regulation for large, and we had a small bet on the under, which of course didn't come in at all. I don't know what I was thinking about the under there. Uh, I just you know, putting a little too much on Lankin in to stop a lot of shots, but I, it was very little, like quarter, like small, small. So I, the main thing was the large. We're up quite a bit now. Uh, Penguins versus the Bruins we had medium pearls on the Penguins and medium on the under so now we're up 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 because the under was five and a half Canucks versus Senators now we're even more up because we had the Canucks ML for a unit and under for large I believe yes large so we're way up now <laughs> Uh, can Canadians versus Jets we lost here. Uh, what we lost here though, I had a freaking parlay that had Pittsburgh ML or Pittsburgh PL, Vancouver ML, and the Jets PL. Empty netter, boom, bye bye parlay. So we have a half a unit on that. That's a little bit of a loss. Um, but we had the. This was we had a wash on the over, and the Jets ML for one unit, so we're still up, and then we had uh, the Flames ML and the under here, so that's pretty much a wash, so we are up for the day, and we're usually up for the day every day pretty much, 
occasionally I'll go under. I'll lose some. It happens. It happens. I didn't have... Oh, I had two tennis plays come in today, too. I usually put a unit on those. And we didn't have any NCAA or basketball picks. No, we didn't today. So we did get that way. If you like tennis, like even if you don't like tennis, if you go over to the Patreon, I kick butt at tennis. Just kick butt. So if you lose a little bit, you can do my tennis picks and it makes it back up again. And when hockey's over, I'm going to have, uh, I have some special cappers that are coming in. By the way, if you want, if you're interested, if you consider yourself a good uh, soccer capper or something like that. If you have a, uh, you, we, have, we started doing UFC, but we could use another UFC guy. Uh, if you come on and you show me that you, with your picks in my messages at Patreon that you're doing, can do really well at picks, I'll give you the month for free all the time. I'll give you, I'll keep on giving you all, all your uh, months for free. And uh, over time, maybe I'll even throw you some gifts here every once in a while to make you a little extra money, too. You never know where it goes. We could, I could get a website. You could be part of it. There's lots of things. So if you want to try that, shoot, I'd love to have you. Okay, so let's look at our picks for tomorrow. We just sent them out to everybody, but we're going to talk about them now and why we pick them and what may change and all of those sort of things like that. Buffalo versus New Jersey. Now, they kind of messed me up here. I would have had Washington PL if I would have known Carter Hutton was in, in this game. Uh, because Carter Hutton is terrible. I think the kid, Joe Hansen, who's going to be in tomorrow, is actually better than Carter Hutton. So I would have actually made more money because I would have took Washington off the PL. But that's here and there. Didn't happen. This is a tough one. New Jersey's on four games and six. Buffalo's on a back-to-back. Um, New Jersey should have Blackwood in. Buffalo has Johansson here. I don't know. I'm kind of, this almost seems like a spot for Buffalo. It really does. Um, who's getting the spread here? It's probably, see, I don't have much on this. I don't have much on the spread or the three way as it's called. I don't know what you're getting on the three way but you're getting 165 New Jersey ML. Um, two tired teams. Uh, this is tough. I'm going to take New Jersey in the under, but this could change my mind. I could change my mind tomorrow. This is a real. That's a really tough game to cap. Buffalo being on a back to back worries me though because they're going from Buffalo to to New Jersey. That's not that far actually. So, I don't know. Uh, um, oh, no. What did, what did they play? Washington, right? They played Washington. I'm probably going to go New Jersey there. Pittsburgh, Boston. I mean, I got to keep on going Pittsburgh here. Um, Boston's defense is just too messed up. Uh, DeSmith will be in net for Pittsburgh. And I don't even know who's going to. Are they going to go back to back with Halak? Halak does not play as well. When he has to, the more he plays, the, the less effective he is. If he's not too tired, you can, uh, if he's not too tired, you can use him really well. Like he's excellent, but it, the more he plays, he's, uh, so I'm going to have to go with Pittsburgh ML. And I'm going to stick with the under, uh, depending on who goes in goal for Boston. But for now, if it's Halak back in there, Boston's going to be tired too. Two tired teams. I like to go the under on that. What is the under on that? It's probably five and a half. Yeah, five and a half. Islanders versus Washington. Washington's on the back to on a back to back. Played Buffalo last night, uh, tonight, and is going to go play the Islanders tomorrow. The Islanders have played a lot of hockey as well. Um, Samsonov will be in net and Varlamov will be in net. I think the Islanders should play this tight against Washington. I'm leaning a little bit to the under, but Islanders have been playing over lots. It's just they're both tired. Under, five and a half. 
Islanders ML for their 11th or 12th in a row. I would be going Washington here if it wasn't they weren't on a back to back. Uh, and I believe they went from Buffalo to Washington, which isn't that far, I suppose, but it's still travel. Uh, let me quickly see what the Islanders did here. Just to the Islanders had did not are not on a back to back. My PL came in for San Jose and my under. It worked. It was 2-1. Islanders oh, New Jer were at New Jersey and then took a day off and went to... And now we're in Washington. Tough one to cap, my friends. I'm going to lean the Islanders and I'm going to go the under. That's what I'm going to do. That's it. That's it. Uh, Carolina versus Detroit. I'm taking Carolina all day here. Um, they haven't been playing all that much. They should be fresh. Bernier will probably, are they, if, I don't know if they're going to go back to Bernier or not. Are they going to finally put Grice in? They've been avoiding it. Uh, Ryan, uh, Ranheim will probably in, be in for Carolina. Maybe they'll go back to Nedeljkovic. He's been playing very well. Uh, either way, if Bernier's in, I'm probably going to lean the under here. Reimer, Reimer, not Reimer. Yeah, Reimer will be in. Yeah, I'm probably going to lean the under. And you're getting good juice on that. That would be the play here. Also, I'm taking Carolina and Reg, too, for sure. Arizona versus Minnesota. The I want to take Arizona, but I just can't. Minnesota's just flying too much. Um, I think the biggest thing is like this is uh, the Wild are on their first game back after a road trip. And I think that's kind of what we have. It has me a little bit skittish because those are not good games for any team. No, they're on a homestand. So they're going to, this is the first game on the road, right? Arizona's been on the road for, Arizona's on their first game back from a road trip. No, Arizona's still on the road. Okay, Arizona's been on the road forever. Minnesota's been at home forever. I'm taking Minnesota. Um... The question is the over-under because Ranta has been insane. They burnt me on the under last time, but I'm still going over. Minnesota just seems to go over all the time. Uh, and you're getting nice juice. I wouldn't bet huge on it, but for that juice, I would give it a shot. Tampa versus Dallas. Tampa's on a back-to-back. -back. I'm just I like. I'm a little emotional right now. I'm taking Dallas ML because Tampa has been such a bastard to me. <laughs> Uh, and look, you're getting 240 for Dallas against Tampa. Screw Tampa. Back to back. Couldn't do nothing against, uh, couldn't do anything against the Preds. Like, are you freaking kidding me? A beat up, injured Preds team. You you, you lose 4-1 and now you're going to play a, a big Hulk in Dallas team. You win this game, Tampa, and I'll lose my mind. I'll take Dallas ML. And as far as the total is concerned, I don't know. I'm all over the place on that, seriously. I probably fade the total. Uh, Vasile no, Vasilevsky will be in net. Hudobin, let's go under. Under 191. Colorado, puck line, and probably over. I think Anaheim gets creamed here. Colorado's got their number right now. They're way stronger than them. They're playing a strong defensive game and uh, working off the attack from their defensive game. Like, it's much better than it has been for a very long time for them. Uh, for, like, they're just improving as a team that way. And I, with Grubauer playing as well as he is and Gibson not really playing the best because their defense is injured all the heck. They've got Manson out, Lindholm, that's Anaheim, I mean. Colorado's got injuries, too. But their overall team is way better than Anaheim. So I'm taking Colorado 
probably PL, but at least in reg. What's the money line? Yeah, you got to take PL. You're not getting anything. Put it in a parlay on the ML, almost a guaranteed addition to your parlay. Okay, boys and girls, that's my full 42. That's all I have to give to you today. Thanks for listening in. Enjoy the fine frolic tomorrow, 3 to 5 on my live. And enjoy the hockey and hitting the subscribe button so I can send you a My NHL Pearls of Wisdom Necklace Pearlocopter to your door. I just, we just freshly lubed the Pearlocopter for you on the weekend. I, well, Hernandez and Melissa, I show, I went, I uh, showed them what to do. Although they already know what to do. But I went out there and pointed at things and they lubed it. So we did that for you. So hit the subscribe. I'll give you a My NHL Pearls of Wisdom Necklace. Hit the like button and I'll just like you back. I'll just send you like energy your way. Have a great day, everybody. Lots of love to you. Okay, bye.